I'm Chef Laura Hahn, chef and blogger for Guilt-Free Food Acuity. I'm here today at Sweet Christine's Gluten-Free Bakery in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania, and I'm going to show you how to keep your guacamole nice and fresh. We're going to show you how to use a pit, plastic wrap in a Tupperware, and sour cream in a guacamole dip. Now, guacamole, just like an apple or any like a potato, it turns brown when air gets to it. Avocados are the exact same way, but it happens really quick, so it's important to know how to keep it nice and fresh. So there you have your basic guacamole. Tons of good stuff in it, and you can see that color is just gorgeous. It's nice and green and really fresh, and that's what's so appealing about it. But if it turns brown, it's not so good. So let me show you how to take care of that. You're gonna take your guacamole. Whenever you're done with it, you wanna put it away and stick it into a Tupperware. It's the best place for it. it goes right in there. Kind of push it down really nice and even. Now, when you make guacamole, you're putting lime juice in it, which really helps keep that bright color. There's a few other things you can do to preserve it. One thing you can do, don't know if it's a wise tale, but I'm pretty sure the gases that are released from a seed once it's exposed to air is what causes guacamole to stay a little bit more green. So if you have a Tupperware and nothing else, just take that seed, stick it right on top, close your Tupperware, stick it in the fridge, and you should have a pretty nice green product when you go back. Now the top of the guacamole might turn brown. Just take your seed out, scrape that brown off, and everything underneath will be fine. The guacamole turning brown is not bad. It's just the oxidation and it doesn't taste any different. Just take it off so it doesn't look gross. Now we can take that seed out. Ooh. Flatten it out again. Here's another trick that you can do. I'm gonna take basic plastic wrap Go right on top of the guacamole. This is now, since the Tupperware is bigger than the amount of guacamole I have in there, this is gonna help prevent any air from getting on that surface, just like that. I mean, there's nothing getting in there. So when you go back to your guacamole, you have the lid on it, it's in the fridge, open it up, take that plastic wrap off, and it's not gonna be brown underneath. So that's another really, really great trick. One more idea. I love to make guacamole spreads and dips and layered guacamole dip. Just like the cellophane, that sour cream layer on top of my guacamole is going to act to lock in all of that guacamole and keep the air out. So if you put sour cream on top, just like we did the plastic wrap, it's going to do the exact same thing. You can use sour cream, cream cheese, anything to lock in that guacamole. Then I would just cellophane this, stick it in the fridge, and your layer dip even stays nice and green. So presentation is really important when it comes to guacamole. You want someone to really enjoy it, and when they look at it, they're going to want to come closer to it and try it. And that's how you do it. Just keep the oxygen out and you'll have a really great product. So to review, we have three great methods to keep your guacamole nice and bright and green. Use a pit, use your cellophane, or even some sour cream. That's pretty great, right? Thanks again for watching. I'm Chef Laura here at Sweet Christine's Bakery, Kennett Square. Mm -hmm.